welcome back to my channel I know what you're thinking sis you're looking rough I know <laughs> it's been a full day of wearing this makeup for me and as you can tell by the title of the video today we're gonna put the face halo and the makeup eraser up against each other I'm super excited because I would love to stop using makeup wipes as much as I do, um, but I did not like the makeup eraser. So we will see if the face halo is any different. We're gonna do the half and half situation. I'm gonna zoom you in so you can take a good look. I have hot water on the side because by the time I'm done talking, it'll be nice and warm. But if you're new around here, welcome. My name is Jackie. I'm so glad that you're here. Please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video or as often as you like to be reminded about my videos. My videos are here for whenever you guys want to come back and watch them. And yeah, let's get into it. Okay, you guys, so I zoomed you in so you could see all the action. But before we get into it, I just want to show you what it is that we're trying out today. For those of you that have never seen a face halo, these are face halos. You get a pack of three for $22. You can also sign up to get them automatically sent to you um, every three months, six months, or 12 months. If you do go that route, you do get a discount. I believe it's like 19 something for a pack of three. And then we do have the makeup eraser, which looks like a little Barbie blanket or something. Um, on this side, the rougher side, the side with the tag is to exfoliate. On this side, sorry guys, earlier that I did my makeup, I didn't realize I rubbed my eyeshadow on it a little bit. But this is the side that you actually clean the makeup off with and then you exfoliate. I do just want to add a couple more things that I was reading on their website. For example, the face halo you can use with cold or warm water and it should work the exact same. And these face halos replace up to 500 makeup wipes. Um, also, I did Google to see what the difference was between the Pro, which is the black on black, and then the original, which is white and black, and I couldn't really find anything that was actually different. Um, I know that it just basically said, like, once you wash it, it's just perfectly black, so I don't know if they're trying to say, you know, because you're using it more often, maybe, if you're a pro, I, I don't really know. <laughs> So these face halos are machine washable. They suggest that if for your everyday use, use it um, and then wash it with some soap and water just by hand and then wash it um, one time weekly. Also, these face halos are made out of fibers that are 100 times thinner than human hair and that's supposed to like really get in your pores and take out all the makeup and all that kind of junk that's on your face. So to use these, we're just going to wet it. You're just going to take one, obviously. You're just going to wet it and then start removing your makeup. It just says don't rub and scrub. You're wiping away the makeup. Now for the makeup eraser, I did a review on this because I've been trying to look for something. As I already mentioned, I did not like it. I feel like it's more rough than makeup wipes. Um, so when it comes to like, Oh, being more gentle on the skin. I don't agree with it as somebody that wears full face of makeup. But other people have different experiences. Um, also, with this, they do suggest that the warmer the water, the better it works. Which I'm sure is the same for the face halo. But they don't really say that. They say that it should work the same with cold or warm water. So we shall see because I'm just going to use warm water for both. And kind of like the face halo, the little tiny fibers are supposed to go in there and suction out your makeup and all that junk. And these are machine washable as well. They suggest you do it once to twice a week to machine wash. And if I didn't mention, the makeup eraser is $20 per makeup eraser. And supposedly it can last up to three to five years. I mean, that's a big gap. Like, <laughs> is it three or is it five? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the face halo on this side and the makeup eraser on this side. So we're going to go in with the makeup eraser first because that's the one that I already know how to use. So basically you just go in there and like super soak it. I'm not going to wet the whole thing because it does say that you can work in sections and honestly I didn't grab a towel. So I'm going in with the softer side which is to remove the makeup and then going on the other side to exfoliate. 
Um, I'm, I don't really care about the exfoliation, honestly, right now. It's mostly how well can I take off my makeup, can I take it off better than the halo. So, I zoomed you in a lot so you guys can see. I feel like this is a very controversial topic, and I feel like a, lot, a bunch of people, like, didn't like that I didn't like the makeup eraser. Sorry, guys. Okay. So, we're gonna go in. It's wet. It's not like dripping wet but if I squeeze it water comes out but also I would like to point out that the whole makeup coming out of the pore thing from the makeup eraser um I also don't agree with I'm grabbing a new little patch here um I don't agree with because if you guys go back to that video where I put it up against makeup wipes it still had um, I still had makeup left in my pores, so. So I'm gonna put this on my eye, hold it just for a couple seconds. I just felt like that was a little more gentle on my eye last time. And it's not that I want these to fail, it's that I feel like everybody acts like these are so much better for you and your skin and I feel like you're still having to like tug and pull and rub and honestly it doesn't feel like it's gliding any nicer it feels like it's tugging a lot on my skin compared to a makeup wipe I did have um, fake lashes on earlier I do just quickly want to mention but I had already pulled them off because I couldn't deal <laughs> I've been rubbing off this tiny bit of eyeliner like can you guys see the small bit of eyeliner that I had on it got onto like the bottom waterline oh I lost lashes okay so now I'm gonna go in and quickly exfoliate like I said I'm not I don't really feel like this is an amazing exfoliator anyway but we'll do it for the heck of the process Okay, so now going into my face halo, I'm wetting it and just wringing it out a tiny bit just so it's not dripping water because I did see a video and it wasn't dripping water in the video, um, but it is wet. Like if I squeeze water, you can feel that it's wet. Um, they did say to go in first, remove as much makeup as you can, and for summer makeup, makeup come back wet it a little bit more and then hold it and say halo 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 six times i hope that's six times <laughs> so just going in here and i have my mirror here i can already say it feels way better on the skin than the makeup eraser i don't like how it feels on the skin this feels more gentle and like it's gliding over your face, not like it's tugging. Okay, so I got most of the makeup off. There's clearly still some eyeliner. I'm dipping it back in, wetting it, leaving it still you know pretty wet halo 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 okay so i just finished taking all that off so now just to see what came off of what i'm gonna take my makeup towel my makeup wipe i use the simple ones i'm not i'm gonna try to keep it just over here in case i still have makeup in my hair um just mostly focusing on the eyes let's see if anything comes off and then here on my face So, tiny bit came 
off. I hope you can see it. I know the, bright, the lights are bright, but right here and right there. And then I don't wanna be super wasteful, so I'm gonna use the back in this corner here. And we're gonna go into the eye. So there's a little tiny bit there too and then this is the other side here and then there was a little bit of black in here sorry guys I got cut off I'm gonna go ahead and put some moisturizer on just cuz I'm gonna be talking here and then I'll go do my face cleaning and all that um, but I just want to give you a couple of thoughts give me just a moment okay guys sorry I had to put a little moisturizer on I'm just not used to leaving my skin with no moisturizer um, but anyway quick little thoughts so I think I did forget to mention the face halo is good for up to 200 washes and the makeup eraser is good for up to 3600 washes so that's something to keep in mind if I had to pick one like repurchase again I would do the face halo personally I like the way it feels better I almost feel like the makeup eraser tugs and you know when you do like an Indian burn how your skin kind of feels weird like the pooling and almost like the tightening I feel like that's kind of what it feels like obviously not to that extreme but that's the only way I can think of to describe um, a little bit of how it feels I feel it felt very uncomfortable if you guys love the makeup eraser let us know your tips down below I personally have reached for this very very sparingly honestly after that video I probably used it like three four times something like that um but other than that I don't really reach for it if I'm being honest I use it mostly to put my straightener when I'm doing my hair here for you guys um so yeah as for the face halo I just feel like it's I don't know it just feels more comfortable to me again I think that's gonna be like a personal preference type of thing but if I had to repurchase I would go with the face halo um also you do get a pack of three so depending on your lifestyle if you travel for work or maybe you see somewhere else sometimes or whatever you can pop one in your bag your backpack whatever you take with you you can still have one at home and you still have an extra one so I think that's pretty cool in itself um also the warm water worked totally amazing like I didn't have to do anything extra if you guys remember last time um this one just takes a little bit longer I I don't know why it just does <laughs> um I, I really want to like it so much I really want to like both of them so much honestly because I have choices but I just I don't really love the makeup eraser so for me the face halo is it if you guys have tried these let me know down below your thoughts um, I think I did forget to mention you do get three of them for $22 one for $20 but these again last shorter lifespan than the makeup eraser allegedly the last couple things I want to mention is that these are just to remove your makeup you are still supposed to wash your face after removing your makeup and also I will leave in the description how these clean up like is it super easy to clean this one up or this one I will say this is black so it's gonna be a little difficult for me to see if there's anything in there other than a stain or something but as you can see it doesn't look like much already and I haven't even washed it so I will let you guys know in the description what it was like to wash these I am gonna wash them by hand and then I will throw them in the washer you're not supposed to use laundry detergent I believe on the face halo um they say that if there's extra makeup on there wash it with your hands and then throw it in the washer i'm just gonna do it by hand i'll leave it in the description and i'll let you guys know if you're curious but that is it you guys thank you so much for joining me on this little adventure and i will see you guys in my next one adios